Hey, hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to convert double to in data type in C++. I will be showing you two ways how you can do this. So let's get started. So first, let me declare a double variable. So let double d be my double variable. Let it, let it have some value. Let's say five point uh, three four five. Okay. And the first method is going to be a direct type casting method. So let me declare a integer variable. So let int i be my integer variable equal to type casting so what we will be doing is just open circular bracket and put int inside it and just come outside of that circular bracket and put the variable name of the double data type so i'll put d over here that's it so next thing just see out i okay that's it i'm just saving it and running it and i'll be getting find the output which is perfect but there is a problem with this method the problem with this method is that if I just go here and put 5.999, okay. So when we round this, when we round any number which is greater than or equal to 5.5, we need to get it as 6, okay. I hope this makes sense. If the number is less than 5.5, the let's say 5.4, 5.3, it needs to be rounded off to 5, okay. So basically, the decimal number needs to be rounded off to its nearest whole number. So in this case, I have given 5.5. 999 which means that this needs to be obviously rounded off to 6 but we will be getting 5 here so let me just now save this and run this so as you can see here i am still getting 5 in the output but we need to get 6 because this is like really really close to 6 so in order to solve that problem our second way comes in handy okay so this is going to be the second way in the second way we will be using the inbuilt function round okay so instead of this type casting, just remove this and here you just put round and just pass the double variable name and we need a header file okay for this which is going to be just copy the existing header file, paste it and inside this just change it to cmath okay. So for using this round function, we need to include cmath header file. So it's going to be as include cmath okay. So now let me just save it and that's it everything is perfect and just execute and run it now so as you can see here i'm getting six in the output and now let's try this as well so now let me put 5.49 okay so this is less than our 5.5 5. so this needs to be rounded off to 5 because that's its nearest whole number so let me just save it now and if i just now go to execute compile and run I'll be getting 5 because this 5.49 is closer to 5 than 6. So that's it, I guess. And you can also try floor and seal functions, which are also quite similar. So these are the two methods, okay? And I hope you would have found this video useful. I also run many other tutorials in C++ as well as C, Python, Java, SQL queries as well as 3D animation using Blender. Check them out. Subscribe me. Thanks for watching.